Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the lab. I'm Jay. Good day to you. Today, we're going to talk about rogue system detection, but more specifically, the automatic response. When a machine on your network becomes rogue, you may want to have some automatic method for deploying an agent directly to that machine to attempt to tighten your security posture. And to do that, you're going to come into your EPO console, go up to menu, go to automatic responses. And in automatic responses, you should see RSD query new rogue system. You'll notice that they don't call it rogue system detection, but over here they call it system detection. Go figure. Click edit. All this is automatically filled in for you. So far, so good. We click enable. Click next. New detection when it's true. When it's really a new detection. It's not something on your exception list. If the EPO server name is blank, it's considered a rogue. It doesn't have a McAfee agent or a Trellix agent. That again is an issue. You also have the option of qualifying it much more down here. You could also configure it to say absolutely does not have to have an agent. It's an extra qualifier to do additional checks so you're not inadvertently deploying to machines that you don't want to. Then click next and trigger this response for every event or we have aggregation trigger this response if multiple events occur within 30 minutes. You can get even more granular by configuring these items. At the most, trigger this response once an hour, once a day. Here are your options. Click Next. Click Save. And of course, you want to make sure that you enable the status or the task itself. That's how to automate a deployment of the agent to machines that are considered rogue from rogue system detection. I'm Jay in the lab. Until next time, have a good day.